hey hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to finish up and wrap up my thoughts on the bh palettes that i've purchased i'm going to swatch this one i'm not going to do like a i'm not really gonna like do a tutorial with it or anything because i did take this palette with me when i was with my best friend for her wedding so i had I've already like kind of played with this palette off camera quite a few times. It was the only palette that I took because I really wanted to, which is a little risky <laughs> because I had never used it before, but I really just wanted to test out the quality. This is the one, one of probably the one that I was most interested in and I got this for free in my cart. There's another palette of the same um, layout. Um, that I had in my cart, but I didn't purchase it because I wanted to see how this one performs. So we'll do swatches. We'll get into kind of my thoughts on all the palettes as well. But before we get into that, I just want to take a quick second and introduce myself. My name is Haley. Here are my socials. And this is my realm of creativity where I mainly focus on makeup and fantasy related things. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing and becoming a companion on my makeup quest. I usually upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays around 1 p.m. If there's for some reason um, not going to be an upload that day, I will usually post on Twitter and Instagram um, that I'll be skipping an upload. So be, for, so be sure to go follow me on there. Now let's get into the video. All right, I want to swatch these for you really quickly because there are some beautiful shades in here. I do have a few of them. My neighbors just got home. <laughs> um, there are some beautiful shades in here. Um, so I just want to show you those really quickly um, and then we'll kind of dive into everything that I bought from BH and if there's anything else that I'm like interested in trying. So this is the Golden Twilight palette. Um, this was the first palette I was really interested in before everybody was like, before the um, Sweet Shop palettes came out and everybody was like losing their mind over, over them. BH was on my radar a little bit, um, mainly because um, Nisi, Nisi Pisa, she loves BH. She's always used BH and I know that it was affordable and it was just a brand that I was interested in kind of seeing where the quality was. Um, kind of similar to Shop Miss A. Um, it, like affordability doesn't mean bad products, so I was interested for myself. Uh, what kind of quality it would be and this was the first palette that I saw on the site that really piqued my interest Like I said before the sweet shop palettes came out before the blueberry muffin and all that stuff Was really gaining traction um, This was the one that I wanted to try and then there's a romantic nomad of this exact same one uh, that I I thought I, I really wanted it has a lot of cute little dusty colors um, that I think are, would go really well in my collection and I don't have a lot of those kind of tones so we're just gonna go there's no shades shade names in this palette um, like the larger square pans so I'm just gonna go row by row like that um, down and just swatch them very carefully this is like a bony shade Right there. I don't even, you probably can't see it. Next is like a dirty bronze. This palette is pretty metallic heavy, I would say, but I don't feel like there's any wasted mattes, which I really like about this. This one in particular. Here's a yellowy gold metallic. Here's more of a copper. And that is the first row. Next is like a dingy blue. I have this um, color in on my eye look today. I have it tapped over the center of my lid on top of another shimmer just because I thought that this one was lighter and would bring a little bit more um, lightness to my smoky eye. This is like a pewter color.
Here's a second mat of the palette and it's a warm mid-tone brown just like that and then here's my favorite shade in the entire palette it's a duochrome I know right it's one of those red brown green I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's really impactful on the eyes. I really love this shade. Next is the third matte in the palette. It's slightly lighter than this. Um, more neutral. This one's more warm tone. This one's a little bit more neutral. I'd say maybe the same tone, but more neutral for sure. Oh, I forgot to say, that was the end of the second row. Next, we have, mm, I'd say it's just a basic, like a basic, um, I don't know, there's nothing really special about that shade. It's like a, a rosy um, bronze color. It's okay, it's not my favorite. Next is another matte. This one is just a little bit deeper than the first matte shade that I swatched that you probably can't see that's right there. Um, this one is just a little darker and it's not, It's. I mean it's good to blend the other ones but it's not anything special. I don't think that I needed, that you needed you, that. I don't think that you need both. Here is the shade is gorgeous. It's a red toned copper. I'd say it's almost like a raspberry and chocolate kind of color. I like it. I think it's pretty. I, th I feel like this palette's really versatile. And this one is more of like a green based bronze it's a really deep just the depth that you get in this palette I just I think it's I think it I'm just really impressed with this palette overall I haven't used this shade yet but I'm looking forward to using it I probably could have used it today but I didn't think about it it's like a green like a grass green grass green I don't know it's pretty just green I'd say it has a little bit of a gold as well. And then next are the last two mattes. One is a deep burgundy color that can be, it will look not very deep, but you can definitely build it up. I did a nice burgundy smoky eye with this. It's almost more plum than burgundy. You can see how sheer it is, but if you take that on a packing brush, you can build it. That's what's nice about these mattes. I feel like they're pretty versatile in the depth. If you wanted a wash of color, you could. If you wanted to pack it on, you can. And then last is a neutral dark. Oh, can you see that? Last is a neutral brown matte. So you can see from the color story, there's a range of depths. It's very shimmer heavy. I wouldn't say that they're the most intense, like oiled, but they are definitely pretty wet looking and very um, dimensional for being as like smooth as they are. Like I did a how many times am I going to say like today? Um, I did a smoky eye. I did a, like a brown smoky eye with this duochrome just padded over the lid. And I just, I felt so pretty in that look. It was just a nice, it's just a nice simple palette. But you can go in a lot of different directions. It is very 
versatile. Like, to me, if I could only keep one palette, I would probably... <sighs> Like, out of all of the palettes that I have from BH, I don't know, man. It's hard to hard to pick. But it's just a really, it's a good beginner-friendly palette, too. The mattes aren't too pigmented, but you can build them up. The shimmers, you don't really need to use a glitter glue, but they definitely pop with one. They're not, you're not going to get fallout with this. It's just a good palette like I will be getting the Romantic Nomad palette just based off the quality of this one I think it's gorgeous I think it's gorgeous I would not not sleep on this palette if you were looking to try BH um but you didn't want to you know maybe the maybe the Blueberry is too colorful maybe the Tokyo one's too colorful for you this one this one is a winner in my eyes so definitely check that out if you haven't already Alright, so now I have, I have all the palettes that I bought from BH, and we'll start with the face palette. Um, the, I got the Glowing and Grease palette. These blushes are gorgeous, um, and this highlighter is gorgeous. They're probably the most, um glittery highlighters I've ever had. You can see those two shades in particular are probably a little too deep for me. I do want to try Milos as kind of a blush topper for um, maybe this shade, um, but these are very, but these are very pigmented, so kind of gauge that um, if you were interested in their blush palettes. I love blush palettes. Um, I've moved more towards them just because I do like a variety of tones and depths with my blushes and I usually layer them anyway. It's uh, very rare that I will wear just one blush. Um, so I'm kind of moving away from single blushes and I love blush palettes. Um, I know that's not really everybody's cup of tea and I feel like there's a lot of people on the other side of that that prefer just buying a single shade. Um, but I mean, maybe I'll change in the future, but that's just not how I am right now. Um, so this was the palette that called to me. I know that they have another one that is a considerable amount lighter. And I think they have a darker one or this is the darkest one. Um, so if that's the case, they need to have at least one palette darker, um, but I, I think that they do. And then there's one that is considerable, considerably lighter, like the like way lighter than this shade. And I just did not. I wasn't really interested in it because I'm not like a natural flush kind of gal. I mean. <laughs> But yeah, a natural flush really isn't my thing, so I kind of passed on those, but if that is your thing, and it's the same formula as these highlighters and these blushes, I would say go for it. I love the look of the highlighter that I can get away with as a highlighter, and the blushes are amazing. This um, Santorini color is just really, it's a gorgeous, like, beautiful burnt coral kind of color. And I just think that it's really gorgeous. If you're interested in this palette in particular or the lighter shade, I would say go for it. And I, I'm really hoping that they have a darker shade, if not, or, or like a darker palette. Um, if not, I think that that could be something that they could add on to their line. Um, especially in this formula, it would be probably very widely loved. Because I think a lot of people are kind of giving them a chance now. I think they're trying to rebrand. So if they made a darker one of this, if it doesn't exist already, I think that they would get even more love. Okay, I think I'm going to go in some kind of order. And the, the palette that I was... This is by no means a bad palette. But it was the one that I thought I was going to like a lot more than I did. Did. It's probably the bottom of the bunch for me, and that is the Beautiful beautiful in Barcelona palette. It is a nice, like, smoky neutral palette. Um, 
there's not a lot of mats in here. Um, so that is kind of a drawback only because I don't feel like there's enough variations in tones for it to work in a way that I do my makeup. Um, if I was only using this one palette. I didn't like the looks that I did with this when I was only using this palette. Alright guys, if I look different, it's because this is a completely different day than when I was initially filming the video I'm about to finish. Um, my neighbors were having a concert. I don't know if it was those right next to me or there's one across the street that likes to have band practice outside. I don't know. Um, it was just really loud and I didn't want to take the chance of it ruining my audio and I, it took them hours to stop so by the time I was, it was done, it was just, I didn't have energy to finish. So it's probably like a week since I last talked to you guys. I'm pretty positive that I left off on this Mitten and Switzerland palette and, um, Almost positive, yeah. I I know that we talked about the face palette for sure, definitely. I remember. I should have looked at the footage before I started filming, but you know. We touched on the beautiful in Barcelona palette. Gorgeous palette. I just think it's limited as far as the, the tones that you can do. There's no... It's gonna be a mid-tone look. There's really no light way to do light eye or like a even in between a light and mid-tone eye. It's either mid-tone, um, there's just regular mid-tone mattes and then some really dark shimmers to add the drama, but I would rather have a really dark matte with a really dark shimmer. That's just my personal preference. Um, so this palette overall wasn't the best for me in particular, but if you really like those mauve tones with um, some shimmers in there to um, kind of amp it up, then I would say get this palette. The shimmers are really nice. Next, I think I was starting to talk about the Trendy in Tokyo palette, which is very bright, very colorful. I no longer have the Over the Rainbows palette in my possession. I pass that on to my sister um, so she can start on her makeup journey and kind of get comfortable with color and, and different things. She's more of a pastel person anyway, so I think that would suit her really well. Anyway, um, this performed fairly decent. Um, I would say that the mattes are where this palette shines in particular. Um, I, I think that they were really easy to blend, especially the pinks and purples. My issue was um, these two shades right here. No these two shades right here <laughs> um where i thought those would be the easiest they were i was staring at myself i'm sorry um where i thought those would be the easiest to blend i found that i needed to pack those on before i blended otherwise they weren't going on as they appear in the pan they were going on very light um very um not pigmented at all so you really have to pack these two on um, and then blend whereas usually I will build up to the opacity that I want instead of just laying down it as you know but that's how I found that this palette those two shades in particular work the best I didn't really have an issue with any other shades I did use um, these today and I found them really easy to blend, just like um, the pinks and purples were as well. Like I said, the mattes are really good. The issue, well, the drawback is that these like shimmers like really aren't like shimmers. There's no real shine to them. They're very lackluster. Um, so I would say if you need some colorful mattes, that it's probably a good deal um, and then maybe pair it with some more impactful shimmers um, or if you're just an all matte kind of person this palette would still be good for you. I almost dropped it. This palette would still be good for you. So if you're more of a matte person then I'd say go ahead and get it because you're not going to get a lot of impact with the satins that are in this palette anyway. Next I have 
I'm kind of doing a loose ranking. I'm, I'm reviewing them as they were my favorites in some sort of order. Um, so I think my next one, and I don't think I've talked about this one yet. These palettes are magnetic closure. So soft close, but they're difficult for me to open because I'm just me. Um, this is what this looks like. And I said um, in my first impressions of this, I don't think that we needed all three of these shades. I could have done with one of the two of these, and I could have done with one of the two of those. Um, and then maybe something to um, go with this orange, because I feel like it's a little out of place. I did use it in my eye look today. Um, but maybe somebody, maybe somebody that has a little bit better understanding of eyeshadow color theory know what to do with this orange a little better than me. Of course, they can go with the mauve tones, but I feel like that kind of limits that shade in the palette with only being able to go in one sort of direction or do a, a lower lash line with that orange. I just, I feel like that shade is limited in the palette. It's a gorgeous shade. I love that shade. I have it on my lips today, but I don't know where it belongs in this palette. The greens, gorgeous. The um, shimmers in here are a lot are along the lines of the Barcelona palette. The shimmers in here are gorgeous. Brisk is one of my favorites. I think they're they're really spectacular. It's like a pink, pink, um, purple, blue with a black base. I think it's scrumptious. I think it's a gorgeous shade. Um, the shimmers are, you know, beautiful. We're this one's like a dirty lavender color. I, you're not going to be disappointed in the shimmers in this palette or the Barcelona palette because they're along the same lines as the Blueberry Muffin palette, but the Blueberry Muffin palette is a little, the texture's a little thicker. I find that these are a little bit more shimmery, glittery um, kind of shades, but they're still impactful. They're still beautiful. I really do love these um, shimmers. They're just not as thick as the ones in the Blueberry palette. Next, it was really hard. It was really hard to... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick, okay? Um, and I'll tell you why. Because they're different enough for them to be tied, okay? And it's my channel, so I make the rules. Um, this palette is a home run for me. It is grungy, it is versatile, it is perfect for how I've been doing my makeup lately, which is that grungy glam I was just talking about. It's the Golden Twilight palette. Based off of this performance, I will be picking up the Romantic Nomad palette. It looks gorgeous. I wanted it in the first place, and now that I know that I will like the quality of it, it will be mine next year. Um, I don't plan on getting it right now. These two really nice deep mattes, there's like a, a grape wine color and dark brown that I can do a nice smoky eye with and then top it with any of these shades and it will give me a different look every time. I could use the brown just as a deepening shade on the outside and do a really light inside. This palette is just very versatile to me. In my collection is probably the most versatile for me. It will, you know, when we're... <laughs> Um, going places again. Um, it will be like my travel palette. Are the pants and the pant sizes are a lot of people I find are struggling with the larger pant sizes and a lot of people are decluttering things like Juvia's Place um, for having too big of pant sizes. That's the only one that came to my mind right now but I know that other people have large pant sizes but I see a lot of people decluttering those because they're like I'm never going to get through this large pan this palette in particular and the Romantic Nomad one. If these are your colors and your way of doing makeup is kind of similar to mine, just switching up the shimmer to get a different look, um, I would say get this. I would say don't like a, a lot of people are saying uh, don't walk run right now. Like if you have any sort of preferences close to mine, you will enjoy this. I will. If you don't, I've I'm sorry, <laughs> but to me, this is a really, really great 
staple versatile palette um it is only not number one out of the palettes that i've gotten just because of two shades in the blueberry muffin palette which we're going to go over right now i'm sure you've already seen this before it's all over um makeup youtube right now this is the blueberry muffin palette um these two shades right here tempting and stud muffin tempting and stud muffin i love a good black based blue i just think they're they're gorgeous and this palette while it's not an entirely blue palette um i wouldn't also i wouldn't necessarily call it a half colorful half neutral palette um i think that it is a very unique kind of breakdown of shades and that you can go a lot of different ways with it especially since you have this gray that kind of bridges with the um, more warmer tones and also with the cooler tones like i just said it's a pretty versatile palette um in a different way than the golden twilight i don't feel like it's as um that you can get as many looks with this or like as many i don't want to say vibes but vibes um i think you're limited in some capacity not too restricted um but as far as versatility i think the golden twilight is just a little more versatile for my makeup preferences and the way that i do eyeshadow um but this just those two shades in particular um they're gorgeous and i love them and i will gorgeous is my adjective of the day obviously i think that that's it i think that i'm <laughs> done with this video i have just been thinking about getting this <laughs> completed all week um and yeah if there's any bh palettes that you are interested in um let me know down below and if you guys are interested in seeing a review of the um kind of partner palette the romantic nomad palette of the golden twilight let me know i will be sure to be doing that whenever i get my hands on it i do have a couple of things coming hopefully by the end of this year i can get up reviews for you i will be trying three new brands probably by the end of the year if the orders come through one of them might not be until january but it is okay um but yeah if you guys like this video please like please subscribe i'm so <laughs> glad that you came here today um, my social media is linked down below please be sure to go follow me on there and i will see you guys in the next one bye